Ladies and gents, just a super quick video. I will be painting these up at some point. Just wanted to compare the WizKids gelatinous cube from uh, Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures and the Reaper Bones gelatinous cube. Give me a second, I will pull this out of package. All right, I've got a couple models for comparison of how well they work. Uh, both are directly out of the package, no modification. Both have like a slime, slime pit. This has a bunch of bones and bodies in the middle. And this has like a wall of bones and stuff. Uh, there is a base for it. So let's pull those out. And uh, first will be a Reaper Dwarf with Great Axe. And you can see exactly what's in there through this one. I don't know how much the ink will change this, but when I paint it, I will be throwing up a video. So that is Reaper Dwarf, fairly wide figure. You look at the Reaper Gelatinous Cube and it won't even fit on top. Now, this one is split, which most people kind of put them together. But I think I might put it apart, keep it apart because that has the same desired effect. And I might just do a magnet mod so that these can split and come back. Though with this one, you can't really see what's on the inside. So just for comparison's sake, there is a big hole on the bottom of the WizKids one and a very, very tiny hole comparatively on the Reaper Gelatinous Cube. So let's just go down the line and test them out. This is a Warhammer 40k Pox Walker. Fits beautifully. 40k Space Marine. Again, fits beautifully. Stormtrooper. Luke Skywalker. There is slight touching up on the lightsaber. Hive mind doesn't really work very well, but I figured it wouldn't. That still gets on there though. We have a Steamforge Dark Souls Knight, which it works insanely well with. I can't wait to get that painted up and try it out. Then we have a Reaper Necromancer and a Reaper Lizard Dude. Again, just a little tall, but it still fits over fairly well. So this guy can pretty much do it all. Even jump on the hive mind, though that's not a very good fit. We look at the Reaper Gelatinous Cube, and it still cannot do the Barbarian except for Split. Let me split these up real quick. It will not do the Pox Walker without having the split. I figure that's going to be a lot of these. Won't do the Space Marine without having a split, but if we put the gun in the split, it works fairly well. I'm hoping it does the Stormtrooper with no problems. Yep. Alright, let's check with Luke Skywalker. And he's probably not going to fit because of his lightsaber. There's no spot tall enough that it really catches. Eh, I guess it kind of works. I have mind, I don't think there's any chance. Yeah, it splits as soon as you touch that. So Dark Souls Knight. Won't go on top. But with the split, still all right. And it's kind of neat to add the sword poke out, I guess. We look at the Reaper Necromancer. And it's just a little tall, but again, with magnets, it'll serve the purpose. And it won't even touch the ground with this. And I think even with magnets, it won't work. 
that's an overall with working with miniatures. I do believe the WizKids is actually superior completely with the wall inside. It's way better. Not in a sense of detail as far as I can tell they're about the same. I won't know till that gets a ink and the bones I paint white. But just look at that. And the cool thing about this is I got this to fit in earlier. You can still get it all together. I don't see any MIDI fitting in the Reaper one with that in the bottom. So if your, say, team has an encounter with a gelatinous cube, say they're walking along and there's nothing there, they go into a cell or something, you just pop their mini in there to show that it's the gelatinous cube attacking them. And maybe next turn have the gelatinous cube fully mold. mold. Have this hanging behind your DM screen. I really do think the WizKids one is more versatile. And I like that you can really see through it. I thought the textures on this one were insanely cool. But it is also because of the textures that you cannot see through them. I think this base is a more efficient design. I also think it provides more opportunity for the campaign than this little thing. Though, this will make an awesome separate like stack of bodies. Just make all that blood and bodies piled in the middle. But once I get the magnets on this, and then, well, I will do a video of putting the magnets on this and uh, ink washing both of them. Then I will uh, post that up. Overall, I do think the Woods Kids is better, though. That's pretty much it.